The Dragon Republic is the sequel to The Poppy War by Rebe Rebecca Kwong. Uh, so this book is a lot different from her first one. Her first book was a little bit all over the place. It was a little bit Harry Potter, a little bit Ender's Game, a little bit of real life. This book, uh, I can feel that it's more confident in its storyline, which I really liked. Uh, this book uh, is its own thing. It's no longer borrowing too much from history. It continues the story of uh, Rin and uh, her power to call the gods. And um, there are some things that I liked and didn't like about this book. For starters, there's something that I forgot to mention in my first review for The Poppy War. Uh, the dialogue is pretty lame. Everyone sounds the same. But also the main thing is I don't like the usage of the F word. I'm not like a prude who's like, no swearing, but um, when people use the F word in a very feudal setting, you know, with like bows and swords and things like that, it comes off as a little anachronistic on me because, for example, there's a movie called The Shape of Water. In that movie, Michael Shannon plays the villain. And at the end, his, uh, his, his evil monologue at the end has him use the word motherfucker in the, in the, in the monologue little speech he gives to the lady. And um, that, however, that movie takes place in the 20s. So when I looked into it, um, the term mofo was only used by jazz musicians, uh, black jazz musicians, very rarely. And our main, character, our main character's villain, um, played by Michael Shannon, is a racist. He looks very downly on the black people. So he would not listen to jazz. He wouldn't know the term mofo. Therefore, he shouldn't use it in any context or any way. See, that's a... Oscar winning movie. Anyways, the usage of the F word is used a lot. A lot of characters use it for emphasis or in the prose, and I just didn't like that. It's, it's something I just don't enjoy, you know. If, it's same if you were to use it in Lord of the Rings or any classic fantasy or science fiction, Star Wars, Star Trek. It would just feel like a little too modern, and that's something I didn't like. But that's a small nitpick, but it also, you know, sort of dragged me out of the book every time someone drops an F bomb. Also, uh, some of the side characters are a little bit shafted, which I didn't mind because in the first book, uh, Rin is a little bit sort of shafted herself. So this time she gets more to do. The main characters get more development, each of them. But however, the side characters kind of just like push to the back burner, which is not a big deal. Also, the book does have like a finite ending, but it also leads on for another sequel. So it's, you know, trying to set off another thing. Overall, though, I really enjoyed The Dragon Republic, though. It was a really fast read despite being a long book. It's 650 pages, but I blew right through it. And uh, it definitely uh, explores more of the world, especially the other continents of this, this world that they live in. So overall, it's a really strong read, and I definitely will check out The Burning God coming out later at the end of 2020. And those are my thoughts on The Dragon Republic.